Everyone, we're about to be joined by Numero 23. You know him from probably one place first. That would be grilling him. Let's be honest. Okay, so was it the first game of the year? You had an unbelievable sauce pass or something happened. You know it was a great goal, and we went off and started showing video of you rifling frozen burgers. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> frozen was burger, that, uh, saucing. First, first home game? First probably, home game. Probably against Jersey. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I, we know you remember. Form, form, you know, worked on the form a little bit that day. We sure. need to tell people that is a new training technique, sauce, frozen burger patties. That, that was one of the tougher things I've done, I think. Uh -huh. um, you know, I think the success rate wasn't very high for, for either of us. It was fun doing that, though. Yeah, and was, we, we appreciate it. We got, we got great feedback on that. You're a good sport for playing along. So so we're uh, we're grateful for that. Let's talk about Sweden. I mean, How's the jet like? Yeah. Not too bad. It's, it's always easier coming west, right? Um, you just get into the routine, um, you know, a little bit easier. Um, you know, it's a lot... It's it's a lot less difficult staying up at night as opposed to going to going to sleep when it's three in the afternoon. So, um, you know, we're we're feeling ready to go again, and you know, the games come pretty heavy at us now. How was the overall experience? I mean, aside from the two losses, and people want to emphasize on that, and I and I get that, but but from the standpoint of a player, how was the overall experience for the entire team to be able to go over there and get away? Really, because I we were talking about it. It would have been amazing to be able to do that. First off, you know, love Stockholm. Um, you know, had a great time there. Um, you know, we were really able to experience the lifestyle there and, and you know, get a feel for the city. And, um, you know, it's one of my favorites, to be honest. Um, you, you know, I think I think it's only going to get more difficult now with all the games, um, you know, but I think it could benefit, benefit us at the same time. Um, you know, you can get on the roll that much more. Um, you know, it's just been tough, you, you know, being away from North America to... to kind of stay in the groove of it um you know you're seeing teams play play back home um you know get a couple wins under their belt um you know obviously the stretch we've been on the last you, you know five hasn't made it easier but that's been over two and a half weeks which has made it extremely difficult so you know we're really excited to get back home tonight um you know we've had a couple of good days of practice and um you know look to turn things around here well you say look to turn things around the, the team definitely for sure how are you feeling about your game i mean you, you know you're you're performing yeah, uh, you know, I, I like the game over there. Um, you, you know, I think we did a really good job of kind of getting adjusted to the time and, um, you know, benefited from, from, you know, having some good legs over there. Um, you know, there's still things we can do better. You, you know, power play, I think, could be a lot better. Um, you know, it's it, it's a little bit over there, but, you know, I think we're still creating a lot and, you know, we're looking to turn that tonight. I think that early success really made teams dial in on you guys a little closer? Um. Yeah, maybe a little bit, um, you, you know, but I think at the same time, we've maybe gotten a little bit away from what we've wanted to do, um, you know, and we've, we've, we've had some time now, you know, back at home, um, you, you know, to, to, you know, kind of work out those kinks and, and figure out and, and, you know, kind of get back on the same page. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> I'm enjoying this uh, conversation. You guys have a chemistry together. You can tell in the No, uh, I just know that when someone sits down, and for the most part, it's me and them, and you're just sitting, you're, you're just a wingman. <laughs> what, can I, what can I ask? What can I ask? You know, you know um, just like people, people look at the, people don't understand that in a, in a season, you're going to have your ups and downs. You guys started extremely well. The power play was hot. Everything was going well. And now you guys have, guys have hit a little bit of a dry spell. Um, you know, what, what are the main things that you're talking about in the dressing room to kind of uh, pull you guys out? Because you don't have to change everything. They're just little things that you have to tweak. What are you it's, talking it's, about? It's a fine line in this league. Um, you know, uh, first, first 10, 15 games of the year, or first 10 games, sorry. Um, you know, there, there was some certain instances where we weren't playing our best and we were still getting those wins. And, you know, I think we look back at the last couple and there's been a lot of parts of those games that we've really liked. Um, you know, it's... You know, a lot of the time, you know, sitting here with you guys or in the media, it's, it's kind of blown out of proportion. But in our room, nothing changes. Um, you know, we're looking at both the positives and negatives, um, you know, after a win and a loss. So we, we, we see a lot of good that, that we're still doing and, and, you know, we're still playing the style we want to. Um, you know, I think we're just trying to be more consistent with that and, and you know, always learning how to, um, you, you know, be more consistent with that. Sam Reinhardt joining us. A uh, couple more minutes with him. So, uh, you know, Ralph Kruger during the, the early start and the success, you know, I think a lot of people were impressed with how he was addressing the media, things he was saying about the team, even after, the, you know, the, uh, Jack's playing Columbus, how he, they handled that. And then people were wondering what might happen when this team in a long season has a bit of a slip. So how has he been now 
uh, you know, that the team has been not as successful as the start of the year? You know, I think this is a unique part of the schedule where, where we have had a couple of days now, um, you, you know, kind of look back and take, take a look at the bigger picture, um, you, you know, and look at the, the things we have done well. And, and um, you know, even in these, in these last couple, they, they have been there. So I think that's been a, you know, major focus in, in our room. And, you know, like I said, trying to get back to that on a more consistent level. But, um, you know, just just the energy he brings, um, you, you know, to the rink the, the next day following a game, um, you know, no matter what happened, um, you know, it's pretty infectious in the room and, and, you know, guys love being around it. Well, you have a lot of... Well, well, well when you're talking about infectious, it, it even though you guys are on a, a little bit of a, a downturn here right now, it just seems like all the players speaking with the media and, and dealing with this, they all seem very composed. And, um, you know, you can tell that, uh, you know, Ralph Kruger has a message for all of you guys because you are, guys all feel very confident and you're all <coughs> together and wanting to, to build something. And you know you're going to have ups and downs through the season. That's just what hockey's all about. But you all seem very composed in how you're, how you're taking this all in because it's all a learning experience about moving forward with a, a lot of new guys on the team. So... Yeah, I, I, you know, I think it's just the trust we have, um, both in the coaching staff and, and ourselves, um, you know, to, to play the systems they're implementing. Um, you know, I think that makes it pretty easy for us to, to stay composed. Um, you know, we, we played, you know, a lot of good minutes, a lot of good chunks against, you know, in my view, still the best team in the National Hockey League over in Sweden. Yeah. Um, you know, it was disappointing the, the outcomes both nights, um, you know, but unfortunately we may have jump-started them a little bit. Um, you know, but I, but I think, you know, we're, we're trying to get to that level and, um, you know, we have a lot of trust that, that we're going to get there and, uh, you know, we're, we're building that and, um, you know, we're really excited to get back on home ice tonight. You talk about media attention and, and things that people focus on, we're, you know, we're guilty of that too. Uh, Victor Olsen got off obviously to a really hot start with power play goals questions about his five on five scoring was there anything that you guys were talking to him about like the stick with it or anything to or was that not necessary because he was getting his chances or how do you handle a young player like that well he's not even yeah. young is he right but i guess you've been in the league longer so i mean you're considered a veteran you know yeah we we we, we talk a lot you know you know within our line um you know i think all the lines too um you know he's so mature like you said he's not that young but you know he just you know expects to score every night um and you know i think you're, you're going to go through um you know times throughout the year where, where it's not going to go in um but like like, I, like like you said his chances have always been there um you know i think his last two games you know from from being his other winger um you, you know, I've liked his game that much more. He's been he's been that much more grittier. He's been on the forward check, and I think it's led to a lot more puck possession for, for all three of us. So, um, you know, I think we all need to play that way a little bit more. When we went out west, I'm sure you experienced it. The western guys have a little more swagger. When you go to Montreal, the French guys have a little more swagger. Were the Swedes all – were they just loving what was going on over in who's Sweden? The mo who's the most popular? Because, like, there's a pretty darn good group of guys on your team from Sweden. Who – was there one guy that the the fans over there seemed to really be hyped about? Um, I, I mean, you got to be a fan of Rass, right? <laughs> you know, I think he was pretty hyped over there. Um, yeah, like you said, you, you go home, you, you know, you got that extra jump, you got that extra motivation. I can only imagine it. It's blown out of, you know, the waters from, you know, I go to Vancouver every year. That's, that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and we just happen to have six guys on our roster over there. Um, you know, I can only imagine the extra pressure, um, you know, everything that, w that was involved with them too. So, you know, it, it, it can go either way. So, you know, I'm, I, I, I can only imagine they're much more relaxed now, you know, heading, heading into a game in Buffalo than, than they were over there. Uh, yeah, I wonder. I, I guarantee you guys, be the best suite out there tonight. Be the best suite ex out there. Ex yeah. Exactly, yeah. How much money was on the board? Put, oh, we can't talk about that. Oh, we can't talk about that anymore. They don't do that. You no, don't, that, that's, that is not... I want to Done. know. I want to know you? after the show. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> All right, there we better be some big dollars. Did, no, but somebody must have thrown like dinner on the board or something. Ah, maybe not. Ah, no, that didn't happen. Instigators, we'll be right back. Thank you, Sam, for your time. Yeah. Good luck tonight. Thank with, you. Uh, no, I'm not gonna shake your hand. I was just, you know, I don't want to break those things.
Thanks for having sweet mitts right there. You've never touched, I, something. You've never touched I, something so soft, Edie. <laughs> Ooh, what do you, you use palm olive. Well, who am I kidding? You don't do I think your that's dishes. my cue. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be, we'll be back. Instigators, uh, thank you, Sam Reinhardt, WGR 550 and MSG.